how to do CPR. So call 911 early, assess airway, breathing, pulse. If there's no pulse, perform CPR, and also gather AED, and also maybe work in um, the rounds with 30 to two, so 30 compressions, or 100 to 120 compressions per at the rate, work together to do rounds as well as compressions and uh, breathing. So there's a couple options for training for CPR. You can do it in person with dummies, which I did when I was younger. I used dummies as well as BVMs and those little mouthpieces that you put over the mouth and there's a little hole in it to breathe into, perform breathing. The other, other option for training for CPR is online. Maybe not as good as in person, but still effective and better than nothing. So different types of CPR are hands only, hands doing compressions and then mouth to mouth breathing. CPR with a BVM or a mouthpiece, like I learned. There's also different forms of CPR for like maybe infants. They would have different ratios of compressions to breathing, as well as different placements for aid, the AED for little infants because they're smaller different bodies. Dogs can also be trained in CPR. Stats on CPR, 25% of people who get CPR before hospital will go home. That one's not true. That one's actually in hospital. So 25% of people who get CPR in hospital will go home. 11% of people who get CPR outside the hospital will survive. 11%, that's a very low number. And that brings us to our story about CPR. So one afternoon during a game of basketball, two firefighters and a doctor took action to save another person's life. The patient started to have symptoms while sitting out. Symptoms like forgetfulness and slumping. Then later the patient lost consciousness and then cardiac arrest occurred. So CPR started, started uh, the two firefighters and doctor helped whoever helped him to the ground and they started CPR. Uh, the, the firefighter and doctor jumped into action doing four rounds of CPR, taking around five minutes and after the rounds using an AED to shock the person. And luckily the AED worked because the CPR sure didn't. After the shock, eyes opened and a pulse regained. So this story is about, a, it's a true story about a person who went into cardiac arrest as, along with the symptoms that occurred, and a firefighter and a doctor helping the person. Um, the firefighters, I read they train every year on CPR, and this is a example of them using it in real life other than in the training that they do. I'm thinking that without the firefighters and doctor, um, it would have taken longer for somebody to jump into action. I don't know that any, I don't know that anybody would have performed CPR because of the other bystanders. I don't know what they would have done. Maybe they would have just called 911, but luckily the firefighters and doctor were present as well as and one being called the AD and everything. Um, this is an absolutely perfect situation. You know, a happy ending story. They're not all happy ending. You know, um, missing one of these actions, missing the AD, would have put his life on the line for the ENTs that were called. But luckily, he was resuscitated before he got to the hospital. Yeah, this is an example of an AED working and um, to remember your training and that you don't know when it's gonna save somebody's life because it can happy, happen at any moment.